All I wanted to do was to try to live with what came out of me of its own accord. Why was that so very difficult? On telling my story, I have to start from the beginning. If it were possible for me, I would have to go back much further, to the very first years of my child, and even further back into the distance of my origin. Poets, when they write novels, tend to pretend that they are God and can comprehend and comprehend any human story in its an entirety, and present it as if God were telling it to himself, without any veils, essential everywhere. I can't do that any more than poets can. But my story is more important to me than any poet's, for it is my own, and it is a man's story, not invented, possible, ideal, or otherwise non-existent, but of a real, unique, living human being. Today, of course, we know less than ever what is a real, living human being, and masses of people are shot dead, each of whom is a precious, unique attempt of nature. If we were not even more than unique people, if each of us really could be wiped out completely with a shotgun ball, there would be no point in telling stories. But every human being is not only himself, he is also the unique, very special, in any case important and remarkable, to the point of where the phenomena of the world intersect only once and never again. That is why every human being's history is important, eternal, divine. That is why every human being is wonderful and worthy of every attention, as long as he is alive and fulfilling the will of nature. Few today know what man is. Many feel it and die easier because of it, as I will die easier when I finish writing this story. I can't call myself a knower. I was and am still a seeker, but I search no more on the stars and in books. I am beginning to hear the teachings that my blood rushes within me. My story is not pleasant. It is not sweet and harmonious like the made-up stories. It tastes of nonsense and confusion, of madness and dreams like the lives of all people who no longer want to lie to themselves. The life of every human being is a way towards oneself, an attempt at a way, the indication of a path. No man has ever been entirely himself. Nonetheless, everyone strives to become one, one dull, one lighter, each as he can. Everyone carries leftovers from their birth, slime and eggshells of a primeval world to the end. Even some people never become human. They remain frogs, remain lizards, remain ants. Some are human above and fish below. But everyone is a throw of nature towards man. We all have the same origins, the mothers. We all come from the same gorge. But each strives a trial and throw from the depths towards his own goal. We can understand each other, but everyone can only interpret themselves.